By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of three really useful tools that you can use to build a landing page. Now, each one of these tools has a specific use case, and it's important to go through the whole video so that you know which one is going to be best for you. Let's start with the first one, card. Now, card is perfect if you wanna build that one page standalone capture form where you're not really building a website with a blog and everything else, but you're just creating that one page capture lead form or a sales page if you're doing a sales page. Now, card is very reasonably priced. As you can see here, it's $19 a year to get access to their pro features. And if you want to be able to build forms, then you'll need to have the pro account. So you can't get away with the free account if you're going to use Active Campaign, MailChimp, and those types of things. But as a very quick way to build a landing page, it is a great option to choose from. You go choose starting point, and even though it says landing up here, it's better to choose a form because you're going to integrate that form. I'm just going to click this one here, start free trial, OK, and then it's going to build our form for us. So you can see already, here it is already, where you can put your picture in, you can change the headline here to more benefit-driven headlines. You then have this form here, which if you click, you can then connect it to MailChimp or to Active Campaign, Beehive, anything that you want to use like ConvertKit as well. And then when you go to over here and click publish, then scrolling down, you can publish it to a card.co domain. But because you have the pro account anyway, you publish it to a custom domain. Now there are workarounds, but basically, when you do this, this is going to be your home page and your one page that you have. So if you're just building a quick one, let's just say you're writing an ebook and you want people to um, know about this ebook before it launches, then what you can do is create a new domain name based on the ebook, have this news, have this form here, and then when people sign up for it, they're going to join that mailing list. So there are different ways to get around that as well. But generally speaking, card is best is when you're building this one-page website. So your one-page website is going to be a newsletter opt-in. So if you're doing a newsletter through, let's say, Active Campaign, then this can work pretty well too because what you're doing is you're just having that one page for it. But if you want to have a blog, other types of things, then the other options are going to be better for you. So let's look at option number two now. Now, option two is Unbounce. Now, Unbounce is a very specific product to build landing pages. So this is a very popular tool where you can create these, high, what they say, high-performance landing pages. And the reason they say it's high-performance is because you can do A-B testing. You can use their templates that have proved popular in the past. And you can see here it integrates with lots of different tools. You can create these landing pages on Unbounce and link them to your site. So it can be yoursite.com slash landing page one, for example. But if we just go here to create your pages, um, it's going to show us exactly how we can do this. You don't need to know code in order to create these pages. What they do is they have these templates and you can then just adapt them based on what you want to do. And the pages that they have on Unbounce are really nice. And I think one of the biggest things here with Unbound, so though we'll look at the pricing as a second, is the A-B testing. In fact, we'll go to pricing now. As you can probably see on your screen, if we go to the monthly pricing, the lowest price is $99 a month, which is out of reach for a lot of people just starting out. It's, a, it's an expensive product, and it's one that you might want to work towards in the future. And you can also see here that with the basic function, you don't have A-B testing. And I think if you're going to use it, Unbounce, A-B testing is a must. It's a really great way to know what's working. And you can A-B test headlines and um, images, etc. But in addition to landing pages, it also has pop-ups like this one you can see here, or the bars at the top too. So it includes these types of features within the products that you're going to get. Again, you'll have to look at the pricing to make sure that that's going to be part of the plan that you want to get to. Now, the next option is something like Webflow. Now, we love Webflow here at No Code MBA, and we have courses on this on how to build using Webflow. Now, I say something like Webflow because you could also use Squarespace, Wix, 
or WordPress. But the idea is that you would build your website and then you would have a landing page built into this. So this is especially for somebody who has Webflow at the moment or something like Squarespace and you want to build a landing page on top of that. Or if you're just getting started and you think, okay, I want to build a blog or I want to build a membership site or just a, a website with multiple pages, then doing this um, makes sense because firstly, you'll be able to integrate an external landing page such as built on Unbounce or lead pages, or you can build one inside Webflow. So inside Webflow, you can see here, there are elements that you can build your pages from scratch and you can do things like forms in here, etc. Or if your template allows, there are different layouts. So here, for example, if we go down the hero section, we have hero subscribe and this hero subscribe as well, hero without image. So if we just choose this one, um, actually this one, click that and then we have this already in here. And then you can go in and integrate this with MailChimp, whatever it may be for your landing page. And then you can just design this in the way that's going to fit best. Like, so you can put your image in here, obviously change your style and your copy too. And as for pricing with Webflow, there are various plans here. So there's a general plan. And if you want to add e-commerce, then it's a little bit more expensive. But let's say you're doing the Zapier for Business one. You'll need the general plan. There's a free one, basic CMS um, business and enterprise contact us. But all you need to do is um, go down here and look at the different features for each one. For most people who are building a blog, they'll need the CMS one in order to have the different CMS collections. So those are the three tools. So card is best in our opinion, if you're building a landing page and you don't want to build a full website. So let's say you have a newsletter that you want to monetize. You can build that in card and just have that one page as the landing page. Unbounce is best if you really want to go deep into improving conversions and to integrate this with your current setup. So if you currently have a website, you can build landing pages with Unbounce and then integrate that into your website. And then Webflow or something like Squarespace is best if you want to build a whole website along with landing pages. So let's say you're going to build a website and have a blog, maybe even a member area, but you also want to have landing pages to build your email list and to have sales pages, then Webflow is going to be the best option for you. And if you want to have step-by-step -step tutorials on how to build websites, automations, and apps and more using no-code tools, then go to nocode.mba where you'll find hours of courses all taught by the top no-code instructors to help you go through this step-by-step. -step. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Thank you so much for being here and we'll see you in the next video.